Oh my god, look at my hair today. It's so voluminous and fun, but ugh, my face is totally bare because we're doing a makeup video. What is up, you guys? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And today, like I just said, we're doing a makeup video, but we're going to do it high school style. A bunch of you guys asked what I was like in high school, what my makeup looked like, so I thought I would hop on the bandwagon trend and do a video showing you how I did my makeup in high school because let me tell you, it was pretty funny. And since life's all about growing and learning anyway, I thought I would take this opportunity to chat a little bit about confidence and self-expression and being yourself. So, without further ado, here we go. A blast from the past. How I did my makeup in high school. All right, so we're just gonna get right into it. Ta-da! This is what I looked like in high school. Um, so needless to say, my makeup game wasn't super strong. But you can see, look at the smile on my face. I loved it. I thought it looked just fabulous. I wore this look every single day. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, recreate this beauty. So, look at this. I am so excited to be partnering with a super cool company called Sleek Makeup, who is all about creativity and self-expression and inclusivity, so I just thought this was like the perfect brand to help me with this video. So, so I'm gonna be doing a full face of Sleek today, but we'll save the good stuff for the end. For now, we're gonna bust out my high school makeup for this blast from the past. Alrighty, so we're just gonna go ahead and start off with a nice bare face because we're supposed to be 16 in this video. All right, dark foundation, and rub that all in. Oh, flawless, what nice foundation this is. So then we're gonna go ahead and take blush and put it all over our cheeks, not just on the apples, everywhere, all over them. Now we're gonna do my eyes. I would always take a nice white shade and put it all over the brow bone and really just everywhere that it wasn't supposed to go. Then I would blend it in because that totally fixed it. Nothing says subtle every day quite like blacks. I was basically the inventor of the cut crease. James Charles, who? I am the queen of makeup. Yes, perfect, exactly how eyeshadow is supposed to look. We need it to be a little more natural, so we're gonna go ahead and line it underneath the eye. Then of course, we gotta add eyeliner because the look was a little too subtle. So we gotta add black liner on the top and of course, you know, black liner in the waterline too. Liquid liner in the waterline. Yep, that's what I used to do. And everyone knows no look is complete without brows, so we are just going to pencil in our brows with black eyeshadow. Pay no mind to what shape they should be, just go ahead and color them in. Then I would go ahead and add mascara, layer it on, coat it on, add some false lashes to increase drama. And to top off the whole look, we're going to add frosty pink lipstick because that is exactly what I used to do. And that, my friends, is how I did my makeup in high school. Yes, every day. Every day. Oh my gosh, this is actually so funny. I have not looked like this in so many years. Wow, this eyeshadow was always such a mood, I thought, you know, for my 8 a.m. classes, I loved it. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that funny tutorial. However, I just wanted to take this moment to say, you guys, this is actually a very, very important video to me. I used to get made fun of all the time in high school for my makeup. Snooky, cake face, clown. Someone once called me the 99 cent lipstick girl and I literally never forgot it. And even though I'm laughing at it now, because you know, how could you not get a good chuckle out of this? It always really, really hurt at the time. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and say that even though my style has evolved throughout the years, like you guys can see here, my more current routine, using a full face from my good friends over at Sleek Makeup. My foundation got less orange. My contouring is slightly more professional. Mm-mm, blendy, blendy. My eyeshadow palettes went from icy to golden. Like, wow, look at the pigmentation. Ooh, 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 so sparkly. My eyebrows are most certainly a lot less soup ladle-y and, you know, much more fleeky. My mascara is fiercer, my lashes got even longer. My lip stains are ever so slightly more subtle. Like this color, oh my god, I love. And my highlight a little more poppin'. Like, OMG, what? The insta hoka glow is insane here, wow! Oh yes, perfect for the gram. But truth be told, it's cliche but true. What's on the inside is what matters the most. My favorite beauty tip of all has always been that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I loved my look in high school, I love my look now, so I never really let any of the mean comments get to me. Makeup is a way to feel fabulous and to show the world who you are through your own self-expression. So never let anyone tell you what's right or wrong. Like the beautiful folks over at Sleek say, it's your face, your rules. You do what you want. And if that's unblended black eyeshadow with frosty pink lipstick, you go girl. Or boy, no gender stereotypes here either. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Stay uniquely, wonderfully, beautifully you. One million kisses from me today. And of course, from high school Amber to you. Kisses till next time, you guys. XO.
Okay, but honestly, I'm actually starting to like this again. Frosty pink lips really are such a mood. Maybe I'll go back to this. Mm, mm, mm.